Unit Twelve: Life on Other Planets. Page Fifty-Eight. Getting Started. Activity One. Listen and read. Do you know Chan and I saw a very interesting film yesterday? What was it? Star Trek Into Darkness. Oh, I like this series, but I've only seen Star Trek two thousand and nine. What's Into the Darkness about? Well, after their adventures on the journey to Nibiru Planet in Star Trek two thousand and nine. Captain James Kirk and his crew return to Earth on the Enterprise in 2259. However, they then have to fight a dangerous terrorist, John Harrison, who wants to destroy Earth. Sounds thrilling. Yes, it was. Actually, Kirk dies trying to stop him, but fortunately, he comes back to life. It's just a film, after all. A happy ending, but it does make me think about the real world. Could Earth ever be in that kind of danger? That's funny. Cham also asked me what I thought could happen to Earth in the future. And how did you answer? I said I didn't know, but that Earth might be run by aliens. <laughs> That's true. Nobody knows. Unit twelve. Page fifty nine. Getting started. Activity two. Use the words and phrases in the box to label the pictures. Then listen and repeat. One, aliens. Two, space buggy. Three, UFO. Four, weightless. Five. Galaxy. Six, spaceship. Seven, solar system. Eight, planet. Unit twelve. Page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Put the stress in the correct place in the words. Then listen and check. Thoughtless. Meaningless. Useless. Meaningful. Helpful. Plentiful, helpless, thoughtful, useful. Unit twelve, page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Read the following sentences and mark the stress syllable on the words in italics. Then listen and repeat. One. Her speech on the environment was meaningful. Two. My teacher is so helpful when we don't understand something. Three. I was helpless to stop the dog biting me. Four. This dictionary is so useful. Five. There is plentiful water for life on Earth. Unit twelve. Page sixty-five. Skills two. Activity three. 
Listen again and tick true, false, or not given. I think the inhabitants of Jupiter may be very different to human beings. This is how I imagine them. They may be much bigger and more powerful than humans. Jupiterians may have eight legs and be able to move very fast. They may have a lot of hair all over their bodies, and their skin might be very thick, so they can live in temperatures of around minus one hundred and forty-five degrees Celsius. They may have four eyes and be able to see very far. They may also have a very good sense of smell, and they may even be able to sense others' feelings like happiness or fear. And I don't think they eat and drink like us. Instead, they get all their energy from the rocks. They may charge their bodies by plugging their feet into the rock, just like charging a battery. That way, they don't even need to breathe air. The only way they may be similar to us is they live in family units of parents and children. They may also use language to communicate with each other. Unit twelve, page sixty-five. Skills two. Activity two. Listen to Tom's imagined description. Of what an alien from another planet may be like. Fill each blank with no more than three words from the recording. I think the inhabitants of Jupiter may be very different to human beings. This is how I imagine them. They may be much bigger and more powerful than humans. Jupiterians may have eight legs and be able to move very fast. They may have a lot of hair all over their bodies, and their skin might be very thick, so they can live in temperatures of around minus one hundred and forty-five degrees Celsius. They may have four eyes and be able to see very far. They may also have a very good sense of smell, and they may even be able to sense others' feelings like happiness or fear. And I don't think they eat and drink like us. Instead, they get all their energy from the rocks. They may charge their bodies by plugging their feet into the rock, just like charging a battery. That way, they don't even need to breathe air. The only way they may be similar to us is they live in family units of parents and children. They may also use language to communicate with each other.